Hello everybody and welcome back to more Dragon Age Origins. Let's go into the general store apparently. Is anyone actually manning this place? Doesn't look like it. What's this? There's lamp oil in these barrels. Okay. Liana, can you unlock? No. That's a bitter disappointment. Get you a lad. You're a disappointment to me, Liliana. <laughs> oh. I just wanted a rogue who can lockpick shit. It's not too much to ask. <sighs> oh, woe is me. Um, this is the blacksmith's place, isn't it? Right here. Hello. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. <laughs> She's like, the fuck? Is this Owen, the blacksmith? I need to speak with you. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. Um... I prefer not to speak through a door. Can I come in? Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. Uh, I need some smithing done. If you didn't notice, the smithy is closed, the forge is cold, you've come to the wrong place. I just want to talk to you. Mm. All right, all right. But I don't know why you're so determined. Here, I'll get the locks. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. It's Maker's Breath. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? My name is Sorsha, a Grey Warden helping Van Tegan. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Uh, why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead. Or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. So you intend to drink yourself to death? Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. Or are you going to save us? I intend to try. Is that so? Hmm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. What about the militia? They need your help. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. All right, I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him, either. You were asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I promise you I'll find her. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Right, then. It seems I have some work to do, relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Morgan disappears minus five. Ugh. Minus four neutral. Even after all that. Oh, 
got it. Hey, Whoa. I see you found my hiding place. I stuck some old equipment in there before Murdoch could get his hands on it. Okay. You mind opening it for me? I don't think there's anything <laughs> you'll need in there. But it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. Couldn't the militia use this? Not if I'm going to repair the equipment they have. That stuff is old, anyhow. Yeah. Let me open it for you. I have the key. Who does that? I'm gonna stash the stuff away but give it to a complete stranger. Let me open that for you so you can just rummage through it. No problem. Not yes. Meliana. I want... Why can't I open it? Am I standing in the wrong place? It's sparkly! Why can't I open it? What the fudge cakes? Oh, hey, there we go. Oh! You've got some stuff. Not the best stuff ever, that's for sure, but you've said as much yourself. I must Are admit, you a shop? It feels good to be up and doing something finally. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. That's okay. Nice to see you have some purpose. I've you to thank for that, stranger. Just do what you've promised, and it will have been worthwhile. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. You are a merchant. <laughs> uh, well, um, I don't actually need these things. So you can kind of have them back. At least I don't think I need them. I mean, can Morgan put these on? She gets... Oh, she has plus six defense on that thing. She doesn't have gloves, though. Can she put on these gloves? She can. She just gets 1% fatigue from them. Uh... 1% fatigue for... 0.5. I don't even see anything. Oh wait, it's up here, isn't it? Oh. I literally don't see any of her stats change at all. Whatever. 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 I must admit, yeah. it feels good to be up and... You can have this shit back. Okay, and we're out of here. I guess we gotta report back to Murdoch, tell him to send his men over. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. Still need to speak to Sir Perth. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge, to the north. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Hmm. Right. The tavern is up here. I remember when, back when this game first came out, there was a bug with regards to this tavern and a console version of this game where you could go back and forth in a tavern because the tavern would offer you a chance to like buy or find or loot. I'm not, I don't remember, but you could get like a bunch of crystals in there and you could sell them at the blacksmith or wherever. And you could just go back and forth, looting, selling, looting, selling. Hey, Bella. 
Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'll have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. Wow, she talks fast. How's business then? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a... greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... You don't care for Lloyd, I take it? He gropes me and pays me next to nothing. But I suppose it could be worse. Not like I've got many options. Uh, why don't you leave? And go where? With no money and no prospects, I just end up somewhere else working for someone worse. You could leave if you had some help. You mean after the fighting's over? I'd really like that. What would I have to do in return? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. How about not end up at another tavern? Well, I can't promise that, but thank you. I don't really know what to say. Uh, I should go. Keep safe. What elf in the corner? Whoa. That's my party. Why were they standing over there? Militiamen. What the fuck game? We just come here to try and forget what's we just come here to try and forget what's happening. Murdoch don't like us being here, but what can you do about it? Do you guys hear that? Or is it my headset? Doing weird things with the surround sound that it does. Because that's just weird. Is this the elf, Berwick? Hello? Not looking for company. Strange seeing an elf here. Elves aren't allowed to travel? Sure they are. Great. Thanks for permission. <laughs> okay. I said I'm not looking for company. Shouldn't you be with the militia? Why? I don't live here. Then what are you doing here? Just waiting until I can leave again. Go ahead and leave. The road's fucking free. I'm not here to talk. There's something about this man's demeanor. I... Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. But you do, don't you? I know a spy when I see one. Really? Look, you're very pretty and all, but I was told to... Uh, just leave me alone. What were you told to do? Nothing. Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. And how do you know I'm a Grey Warden? I just, uh, overheard it, that's all. You're a really bad if spy. If you'll excuse me, I want to get to the Chantry before the sun goes down. Uh, stop right there. Answer my questions, or else. All right, all right, I'll tell you. Just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. Who is they? But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. Who are they? Who hired you to do this? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He, uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man, Terran Loghain's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. How? Hmm. What are you supposed to watch the castle for? Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. And how do I know you're telling the truth? Here. This is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. Hmm. I think you should help defend Redcliffe tonight. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Sure. He just exited that way. When the exit is this way. <laughs> okay, that was odd. Can you go up here? Uh, maybe not. Hello? Lloyd? Hello there, friend. 
Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had mm -hmm. many travellers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Not at all. Brave words. Brave words. Well, we'll see when night falls, won't we? So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. Mm, I need some questions answered. Fine. Make them quick. Uh, shouldn't you be helping defend the village? Why? When them creatures attack, I lock myself in the cellar, just batten the hatches and wait it out. What's the point in getting myself killed with all the rest of them? If that makes me a coward, then I'm a coward. Mm hmm. You coward if that's what you want. Well, yes. I suppose that is what I want. What do you know about what happened to you? Not a lot. Castle guards stopped coming in about a week back. It's unusual, too. They were my main source of business. After a few days, I thought it strange enough to ask. But nobody heard anything. Anyone going up to the castle didn't come back. When the first attack hit, I locked myself in the cellar. I say we just wait for help to come. Why are you still open? I'm not abandoning my tavern because of a few monsters. The second I'm in the Chantry, Murdoch and his men will be here drinking all my ale. Mm-hmm. Something else I can get for you? Let's see what you have. Right. I've got some supplies, too, in case you're interested. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? Right. You don't have much of anything. Great. So there's multiple ales. It's a gift. I'll try buying it. I'm keeping it in my inventory. Why the fuck not? Did that just... Oh, they do take up inventory space. Oh. Uh... Well, uh, that kind of sucks. I kind of want the injury kits because the injury kits, to be honest, are kind of important. Ah, uh, recipes. Those are important too. This really wouldn't be bad for Morgan, being able to make our own injury kits. Sure. So you can Back make them now? Again. Do I need to? No, I don't need to like consume the stuff. We need elf fruit and distillation agents. Okay. Hmm. I know... I know the guy in Lothering had distillation agents. What do you have back here? Fat load of nothing. Hey, what can I get you? Seems kind of pointless to ask this question, but because I haven't asked it, I'll just ask. Name's Lloyd. So, why'd you come to the village now? The roads can't be all that safe, not with a war brewing. Came to see our Lehman. Well, you must have been mighty surprised. It's not exactly talkative these days, eh? Something else I can get for you? Fine. Make them quick. Uh... Why? Oh, when the first attack hit, I locked myself in this. Okay. I was kind of trying to see if the option to make him go fight for the militia was still there. I know if I make him go fight for the militia, Bella kind of seems to take over the shop. But... Hello again, sweetie. Nice to see you're still safe. What do you know about that elf, even though Not he's much. gone? He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit... creepy. Hmm, shouldn't you be at the Chantry? Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the Chantry. Are you... fighting tonight? 
Yes, I am. That's... good to hear. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. Keep safe. She seems like one of those really seductive bar maidens that you're supposed to, like, have a slight crush on. <laughs> Just saying. I don't know about that promise I made to her, though. Since, you know, I didn't get rid of Lloyd. What is she gonna do now? Do I actually come back here? And oh my god, is that the same windmill model that was in Lothering? Kinda looks like it. Hello? Darnall Garrison? Yes, what can I do for you? I have a letter for you from the Blackstone Irregulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she said. They might pay you a few sovereigns now, but they'll be back. Blast. I'll see you on the front lines, I suppose. Ah, <laughs> oh, did they all see the same thing like that? Hello? Ballad of Isley. The wind that stirs their shadows, shallow graves carries their song across the sands. Heed our words, hear our cry. The grey are sworn, in peace we lie. Heed our words, hear our cry. Our names are called, we cannot die. When darkness comes and swallows light, heed our words and we shall rise. Said to have been written after the Battle of Islay, which ended the fourth flight. Huh. Allow me. You can do that what? for you. Really? I'll do it. Yes, of course. You liar! <laughs> I could do that for you. Really? Really? Freaking liar. She's really been a huge disappointment to me. A landmark tree? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? You are very beautiful, Morrigan. Tell me something I do not know. But you are always dressed in such rags. It suits you, I, I suppose. A little tear here, a little rip there to show some skin. I understand. You understand I lived in a forest, I hope. Maybe we could get you in a nice dress one day. Silk. No, maybe velvet. Velvet is heavier. Better to guard against the cold in Ferelden. Dark red velvet. Yes. <laughs> With gold embroidery. It should be cut low in the front, of course. We don't want to hide your features. Stop looking at my breasts like that. It is most disturbing. You don't think so? And if it's cut low in the front, we must put your hair up. Show off that lovely neck. You are insane. I would sooner let Alistair dress me. It'll be fun, I promise. We'll get some shoes too. <gasps> shoes. We could go shopping together. Wow. Well, Morrigan, I don't know why you're complaining that someone is looking at your breasts when you have your breasts just hanging out like that. I mean, it's kind of hard not to look at them. I really don't. I really don't blame guys when they look at girls' breasts. I mean, when they're out like that, you know, it's really freaking hard not to stare. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit I do not know quite how to address you. Is my lady sufficient? Uh, yes, my lady would be proper. I am a Terran's daughter. Very well then, my lady. I am humbly at your service. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah oh, well, with a Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. Hmm. Have you considered using the oil in the village store? No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much exactly? Enough to set many monsters aflame. Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective, if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. 
Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? Yeah, yeah, is there anything else I can do? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, sure. I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. All right, I'll see what I can do. That gladdens my heart to hear it. Uh, Ask me whatever you wish. You mentioned something about an urn. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact said to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinter and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. Hmm. Why did the Arlesa believe anyone could find the urn? The Arl once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. Can no one find the other knights and bring them back? After all, I did find one, and one dead. Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Raycliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. And just what was the Earl sick with? We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Arlesa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. So the knights left the castle defenseless? Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there and were transformed into these things. The thought chills my blood. All right, carry on. As you wish, my lady. Make her watch over you. Was that actually part of my quest now? Go ask for blessing? I guess so. All right. No word from the castle. No, ah, it's sort of like coming home again, but with more undead. <laughs> okay, what is it? Say no more. The Arl lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. Uh, wait, that's for my dog. I remember this. Uh, hmm. Doesn't it give, like, combat boost to my dog? A love letter! Ho ho ho! A collection of embarrassing personal communications between the spoiled wealthy and their obje objects of obs obsession. You are filthy, a beast. Such a depravity I've never been forced to suffer. How words are so laden when they leave your lips is beyond decent imagining. Madam, I love you. Sir Arcold. What the fuck? What is this? It looks like something. I kind of want to bring my doggy because I remember I remember that tree being for my dog. How do I get out of here? Uh Wait. That's up through this way. Can I even go that way right now? Okay, yeah, I can. Can I go in this? No. Oh, wait, death route. Now's better than later. K. 
Okay, let's see. As far as I know, this is the only way I can. Where are you going? I thought you were gonna help us. I'll be back. If you go, I doubt we'll still be here when you get back. I'm just saying. Wait, wait, are you serious? Wait, wait a minute. I just want to change my party. Can't I change my Now's party better here? Than later. Oh wait, I can change party here. Poop. Of all the. Sorry, Liliana. I didn't need to come up here at all. I'm an idiot. So I can do this at any time. I don't think I can do it at any time, right? Lost it. Yes. That's. I don't remember you being able to change party anytime, anywhere. Maybe I'm just going insane. I don't know. Hey, you have some level up stuff. And... Critical attack and armor. I do like charge. <laughs> charge, doggy, charge! Also, can you not... I thought you could do some... Like, only the dog can do this, right? Like, I Got it. Your hound seems pretty- yeah. Oh. Hello. Bari hounds are descended from pack hunters, and like their ancestors, they are highly influenced by a defined order of dominance, the primary method of determining what order is by claiming territory through scent marking land major landmarks. Once established, a dominant Mabari gains a substantial increase in confidence and stature within his territory, a trait that indirectly benefits my master as well as hound. So what do we just gain? But I'm the master, shouldn't I get... What? Whatever. Fine. It said master as well as hound! Hmm... Do I want my doggy for this? Or do I want Leliana back? Whatever, I'll keep the dog. Why not? Anyways, let's go back down to the Chantry and see what blessing uh, a revered mother can give us. Although, you know, don't know how much good that'll do. I'm sure she's been blessing her head off this whole entire time with nothing good to come of it. Oh, Caitlin. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. Oh, just stay safe. Stay safe, both of you. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Right. Sure. The Maker. Anyways, before we talk to the Chantry woman, person, revered mother Hannah, <laughs> I will cut off, so I'll see you guys next time.